There are new developments in a civil case involving former St. Louis school football players. Their settlement over an alleged sex assault is delayed. The young woman sued the men over an incident five years ago on campus. Lynn Kawano explains the controversy holding up the settlement. The judge wants more information from both sides after St. Louis claimed the boys should pay more. The attorneys for St. Louis School are questioning the details of a civil settlement involving two of their former star players. Quarterback Jaden Delora, who now plays at the University of Arizona. Stoned at the two-yard line, and it's Latu again. And Kamoi Latu, a defenseman for the University of Wisconsin. The Hawaii players made a deal with the woman who said they raped her in 2018 when she was underage in the stairwell of the school parking garage after the ILH championship game. The criminal case was handled in juvenile court, but the civil case is still in limbo. At a hearing Tuesday morning, the attorneys for the boys and for the victim told the judge the undisclosed settlement was reached in good faith and should be approved. That would leave the school as the sole defendant likely having to pay more. The school's attorneys objected to the deal and the judge ordered the boys' families to turn over financial records, including tax documents. St. Louis is saying, you're only coming after us, the institution, because we have what we call deep pockets. It's a good argument for St. Louis to make because the boys and their parents now have a duty to produce financial information that they would not have normally had to provide if all of the parties settle. In court, it was revealed that Delora makes approximately $8,000 a month and got a free car through the name image likeness program. Latu made $17,500 last month alone. The judge is giving both sides until August 4th to provide the information. She could make a ruling after that. I'm Lynn Kawano, Hawaii News Now.